Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play of European Assassin's Fall. I've made a small modification to my settings, so hopefully things will be appearing a bit more smooth. I can already see it's improved a little here, but this is just a roper. It's nothing particularly hard on the CPU. Though I do have a update running in the background, so the game itself is being a little upset. So where this army is currently exploring, and we have some men in Taiwan sitting about, because I'm intending... Ooh. Hmm. Well, that's nasty. Not fun. Not fun at all. So, this is the next place I'm colonizing, I think. While... Let's see. What, the game is freezing because of this... Up, oh, no. Yeah. Because of the update I'm running. Brilliant. So this here will be done. I'm not sure when this will actually send forth a colonist. And I can invest in technology, can I? Let's see what it is. If the game doesn't explode, I suppose. It's a year ahead, I can wait that, I think. can wait a year for all of these, really. Then again, quantity ideas is looking alright, I think. The game just... okay, the music just stops. So yeah, I'll wait till the end of this year to get that and that. But yeah, the game seems to be doing alright in terms of how it's going to be. Now, the file itself from what I'm aware, it is very much more smooth. Though, yeah, it looks like it's definitely a fair bit more smooth on the uh, software. I've basically just increased the bitrate of the software itself alongside some other small setting changes. Which should allow it to remain up to date. So I'm gonna make that this culture now. As is was my original ten intentions. Now these over here, I can't actually culture convert, though I really would like to. But as of the moment, they're going to be an issue in the long run. The game itself is going to lag around a bit, I think, for a while, but once it stops, it should be good. And it looks like it might have just done so, or not, because the up thing I'm updating just keeps on going to find more. Good lord. So, Age of Reformation. I haven't got any particular thing that I would like to get in this, to be honest. Though I could create a colonial empire. I doubt I'll be able to make a golden era for my nation. And I am going to have a very clear view of the entirety of this over here. And Zhu, I could actually try and get as an ally. They are definitely, without doubt, the strongest Mayan power because they're the only Mayan power. I could even royal marriage them, but the distance between the borders does certainly upset them. Hmm. That's a nice one. Oh, I'm losing money again. Oh, whatever. Doesn't hurt much. I've got enough of a stockpile as of the moment. So, let's catch up on these. So now it'll be military tech focus again, or rather getting that military tech up, as I no longer need to worry about it. Banner infantry acquired, and yeah, looks like all of that's solid. It's this tech that gives me the next type of cannon, which are iron cannons now. But with our infantry becoming increasingly strong, which is highly beneficial, and I'm just going to stop that update for now, I'm not in the mood to have that. 
So, I'll actually be focusing on getting some more of Asia colonies now. One colony over here, one in America. So, I have two colonial nations set up. Though I can... Oh, I can't actually. Maybe I should start focusing on just strengthening the colonial nations. I remember there used to be a CB for this. Have they changed it to another thing? Because it is not an exploration. Would it be an expansion? That is that. Oh yes, I remember. They've changed how it works. Before you just got an automatic CB. Now you just have to claim them. But you can claim them. Regardless of the border. So. Where are they going? Maido. Where's this? It's down here somewhere. It's right there. Oh dear. This could be quite painful. Because that's going to hurt the economy quite significantly. Though if they do rise up, I will be able to send a military there. So I'm going to have to wait for that one up there to be done. And then I go and support Maidao. Or Maidu? I'm not sure. But either way, that kind of benefits me ultimately, I think. And as of the moment, the amount of colonists I get is alright. Because it does. The colony will grow quite nicely. I would just say you can bugger off and shoot yourself in the legs. That's why I think of that. I am not just going to give that up. But anyway. So, they're disloyal now. What a shame. So, these over here, meanwhile, we're going to have this and this. Still not sure if the one up here is colonizing at all. Doesn't look like it. Though the Alaskan one does seem to be the weakest of them and the least economically potent. So there is that. Now I did want to just go straight to Asia, but it seems that's going to delay it a slight bit. So these over here are quite a capable military. I think they'll keep finding things. And I could start focusing on getting one in the uh, Mexican region. Possibly by going here and here. But I do want to avoid getting the natives a uplift. So I'd probably focus on all the provinces here. <sighs> that conquistador gone every few seconds. Now the percentage chance is so low up here I may as well recall him and send him here immediately. Because he'll take a long time to arrive. This will be done before then. The ones in Pomo are the ones that rose up, but they're dead. Well, at least this time round. I'll sacrifice ducats, as I'm not going to be bleeding them for much longer. So, these provinces... Oh, God. Lord. Flog them. Give them a good flogging. It'll make them... It'll make them understand. But anyway. So, this vassal up here has a f bit of stuff here and there. Like, his development isn't awful. Didn't I leap... Oh, oh, fuck's sake. Fine. I'm not able to lose money again. I'm not taking it. Okay, you start your journey down to there. This should not have a rebellion at this last moment. And if it does, I'll be very much upset. 
Okay, so that's just going to contribute further to those up there. So that goes to Tokachi, who is now relatively... he's alright. He isn't going to be strong, but he isn't going to be awfully weak, especially if he can keep up technology-wise. So, this here should be done very soon. Don't really need them there. I'm going to start playing the micromanage game with this. That colony should be done before this, they arrive here, so, yeah. Oh, I'm making less money than before, oh. Hmm. But now is really the time where I start to build up the colonial strength of my nation. Next month, that'll be done, so that's brilliant. Though... Hmm, this money situation is not looking too great, is it? Pomo is now good. So I'm gonna... what should I call California? I shall refer to it as the East Takachi. Then again, they are an answer of Reese, and I am aware of it. To catch Phenomenia. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an awful name, but I really could care less. Economically, I am going to want to keep the trade going to Girin, I suppose. From over here. I'm going to send you to there. Yeah, I'm making... I'm losing more money now. That is not a good sign, but... Oh, I have to do. So I'm losing a fair bit of money, which is pretty bad. I shall gain the admin power, because I've been trying to do that for the past while now. So I can either get this, which doesn't give any immediate benefits, but does allow me to keep up in admin tech. Now, these actually have expansion ideas immediately, but they can't actually afford it. I get morale of armies for 20 years. You know what, I'll take that. So, this up here, pretty... it's alright. It's a whole bunch more land, it'll connect the colony up and it'll be fairly resilient, I suppose. For lack of a better term. Those out there not going to have any issues, I think, for a long time. And this down here, has it got Ming's interest in making me a tributary? Nope, it is not giving them a single bit of interest that I own an island right next to them. That's slightly scary. Now, this is not going to be an accepted culture, nor is any of this, but I'll live with that, I think. See, this is going to be a fairly difficult land to tame. I'll take the unrest. So, my navy, where is it? Heavy sh those are light ships. These are the transports, and they're up there. I shall sit them down in that colony now, I think. Which shouldn't be an issue at all. So, what else is there? So, Tokachia is doing... or Tokach is doing fairly well. Tokafornia is... It looks like it's starting to roll its capitals in Pomo, which is, you know, the worst pro... I would prefer if they had it in Miruk, but... What are you going to do? Look at the flag. It still looks good. So that's actually going up nice and quick. And I'm just going to keep expanding it in this region. Because it's 
what I think is going to be good for them. I'll probably connect them up through these mountainous provinces next. Those three are high priority. I'm not sure when uh, Alaska, or, well, Tukachka, is going to be able to start expanding, but when it does, I'll be very happy. Taiwan, with the, ta well, with the conquest of Taiwan, I'd be very good off. Well, not really conquest as much as it is colonization. So, I have not seen a single European nation or colony over here, as of yet. Oh yes, take the admin power away from me again. That might be the start of one there. But I, I can't tell, of course. Really? Just fuck off with that. So these are all just running about. They'll they'll find stuff eventually, I think. Now, if when they do start colonizing, if they ever do, hopefully they'll start here and get the rest of their region done. Though my hopes for that are a little low, because it is a relatively poor area. And I might start colonizing this region here as well, for California, once I've got these here done. Because it will it'll make progress quite quick, actually, I think. Because if they can start their own colonies, it may not be the fastest route, but it will still be fastest, uh, faster than before. Because each additional colony that they you can hold is an improvement. So this here looks alright. And it does give me the ability to start, say, fabricating on Ryukyu. Who I would like to actually kill, just for their land. It's only one province. It's not a very good province. It's I, no, it has got some base tax. Wait, what's this? They become a tributary of Ming. So they can become a tributary, but I cannot. So I can't actually attack Ryukyu. Lovely. Nah, the sea tile away, so I don't think that affects them. And meanwhile, there isn't one here. Who is that non-tributary? Is it me? I can't have Hakesy as a rival because they died hard. Typical of Korea doing this. What was it with Korea? That's a diplomat leader and they're still going at it. Good lord. Anyway, so I'll be having mercenary contracts soon. Hopefully, anyway. Oh, California, well, Tokafornia has built its first troop, and I'm proud of them. But they are using a Western Sprite, so. I'm... What Sprite are you even using? Is that one the Euro that's a European Sprite? They're Asian though, but they're using a European Sprite because why not? Game. Why? It's the game being weird, I think. But anyway. So in relation to all of this over here, I still haven't found the European colony, which is surprising, but also rather good for me. I like it. Maybe because I've spawned colonialism, it's impacted Europe quite heavily. Because Castile and that have not actually uh, got it, the tech. And it has given me a bit of a, an advantage, I suppose. And that's their own development. They haven't got a colony in England, haven't Castile? They have got a subject with a lot of development. So they are, they've got a colony, I think, down in Brazil, probably. Mm. 
I'm still losing money. That is not a good sign. So I might have to start doing... I have to do something, I think, to make up for the lo loss of my money. Well, I'm not using the navies right now, so let's cut those. Can purchase an ability. Blockade impact. You know what? Powerful trade ships, I think, is the most useful for me here. Am I even using it? No, nope, of course not. Didn't I just... Okay. Let's select a mission. Protect trade. Never mind. And again, they are already, you know, not having any of their stuff used. That there should at least help as well, because it does increase the amount of money I make. Hmm. This is very dangerous, I think, overall. Once I have Taiwan under my belt, though, so it will be the entire island, and then the Philippines, my income should start to rocket. Yep, yeah, they want me to become their tributary now. I have to really accept it because the other thing they could have done is attack me and you know how that would go. So now I can attack Hexi when I have the military back anyway. So they're not even allied with anyone. This really gives me an advantage in taking things. So I'm going to start claiming them right now. So I really had to accept that. It also means I can attack Ryukuyu when I intend to. Wait a second. What? They're my colony, yet I've gained colonialism courses belly against my What? Game? I'm I'm sure that's a little silly. That has to be. That seems silly, in all honesty. I'm going to keep their, their desire down, I think, by, you know, not really upping those tariffs. But yeah, I'm going to be able to conquer Hexi, I think. Hexi is most likely at the bottom here. The Viet is instantly weak, and Ryukyu has a surprising amount actually. Hexi has eight thousand. Their man, why is your manpower eighty? What? How? He's military tech 10, so I have a massive advantage there. I'm going to start cutting back the costs of the military because I really need to make money. But I'm going to conquer hate, you know. I have the ability to. But this, mil this army is still exploring, so I'm going to let it do that for a while longer while I start getting claims. The truce with Mongolia doesn't matter. The one with Korea is 10 years long. I have plenty of time to do what I wish then. And that'll be getting a true foothold on this area here. And I could po could I full annex them? I could very easily, in fact. So that's very much a worthwhile one, conquering Hexi. Their military is a lot weaker. 
in general, I have, I have them. Getting these, actually, in fact, would be a good idea now, because I can start... Ah, uh, you're kidding me. I can't... They want to take money off me when I have no money. You are actually arseholes, and I really would prefer you all died. And trust me, these loans are going to hurt me, aren't they? So I'll have to start recovering that, and I can take money off Hexy as well. So that'll be a way to focus on this. They best not do it again. Look, it's Tokafornia. It's expanding. I'm proud of them. This is a good colony. It's actually expanding itself. Meanwhile, to they're doing it as well. So that's where I got the Corsus Belly from. Good lord, this is... this is brilliant. So they're going to demand military power this time round, which is annoying, but I have to accept it, I suppose. Plus two military power, I'd prefer over having them take my money again after what they did last time and demanded money immediately when I have no money. So, considering this is going to slowly push them together, and also increase their own wealth, I'm very happy for them. I might even start withdrawing troops from this entire area to better help focus elsewhere. Losing money again? Alright. Probably because of this military sapping up things again. But yeah, I can definitely deal with the Hakesy now. I'm going to fabricate everything I can. Now, I don't believe... Yeah, they're not a uh, tributary. So I can actually quite happily go in attack them whenever I want. Then again, since I'm a tributary as well, it doesn't really matter. Look, I could attack Hexy right now and no one's going to get involved. I don't see a reason to call the uh, Ashikaga in on this one. But the Ashikaga certainly wouldn't want to attack me now if they did break our alliance. Bukhara is breaking, that's brilliant. Mamluks are still a thing, this late on. The game really does not want me to have any admin, despite a skilled leader. I'm not taking the corruption because that will just ruin my income for a long time. Considering my colonies are now relatively strong, Considering they're colonizing for themselves, I'll start focusing on getting a few more things. Okay, I'll send that. E basically, just prevent me taking an idea for a month, which is nothing. Why do I have so much diplo already? I'll take this mercenary idea. And considering I'm gonna hit the cap, on, why am I printing press? I didn't even get an alert that it exists. But that's gonna take a while to turn up anyway. For me, anyway. Because I'm. I have to get to Diptech 15 if I want to start it spreading now. So, let's get to this then, I suppose. It may, I may as well. I'm going to move right to here. This is the next colony.
Actually, you know what? Better. There. So these fellas, once they've explored a little more, I'm going to let come back. I'm just going to gain... I'll rather gain the points to keep them loyal for a long time. Especially when I'm in this current state. Hmm. Legitimacy or prestige? Legitimacy would actually be quite useful here. But prestige is also quite good. And I want you lot to actually get back over here, to be honest. So, the Ashikaga is now Japan. I'm still allied to them, they're still quite happy actually. And they're probably going to conquer the Auchi. Well, the Auchi I could actually conquer myself if I was aggressive enough. So, Japan's actually successfully united itself. Which is brilliant in a sense, but in another it's not. So I'm going to return them all the way to home. I've explored enough over here that I'm satisfied. Still no Europeans down there. Well, I'm going to make a land connection to Hakesy, which will further improve my ability to attack it. So, this will be the first real aggressive expansion I've had in a long time. Or the first option to actually do something. Monthly autonomy change. Brilliant. So these are... They're going to be back quite soon, I think. Get up there. Get up there instead. Please. Why were you out there? Ohotsk. Isn't it this... I'm... Oh, I see. I'll expand it. I'd much rather expand it than... So on. Yeah, just do it. I'll probably have to take out the loan again, but... Oh, no. They can't actually siege it. That's saddening. So where are they now? They're coming across. They can't actually siege it because they haven't got enough men. That's surprising to be honest. The game freezes up on what save as always. So they're gonna get there. I'm gonna be able to uh, Colonies a lot, really, aren't I? Diplomatic power. So the thing I have a massive excess of. <laughs> Ming is very strong, but I think there is a way to deal with them. And they've actually just given me the ability to do it because if I become their tributary, I can start eating away at their tributaries. So now it's going to be me eating into this. First of all, it's just going to be Hakesy. Nothing major, but something that's just going to cease to exist, really. Hmm. 
Now, with both of these, this, you know, doing their thing, I can leave them be for a time. Fur, good, good. But anyway, so the next step is taking control of Hexy in its entirety as well. So, once I've done that, Hexy, I can just... I, I'll just convert all the religion. It's all to Shinto. No issues there. So they're actually accepted, which I don't really have an issue with. Though Hexy is getting very much buggered here. Now, once Taiwan is taken, I'll turn it into a full state, of course. And our military should become larger and larger as things go on. I'll actually refuse that, since I don't really have to worry about getting any more right now. But yeah, there will be a fair bit of a conquest to be had soon. Thanks to uh, the existence of Ming's stupidity. Now, Korea, I would be a little worried about. But I'm still allied to them. The Ashikaga. Well, Korea's, Korea's not allied to Ming, so Korea only has its own military to rely on. Compared to earlier versions of the game, where Korea would ally Ming and then attack everyone. If it was un Well, if you were unlucky, that would be you. So, let's grab these, or at least as many of them as we can, and get them over into Siberia. I should be able to set them to come back. They'll drop the troops off automatically, and then I'll be able to return them here. If not, it'd be frustrating, but oh well. It'll be a learning experience. So, Kalang is almost done. They've changed it back to military power, okay. And I think Japan has gone to conquer Auchi, which is fair. And he is putting claims on Korea, but I doubt he'd want to attack when Ming would be, you know, all over him. Then again, I could call him in. And that would pull Japan in. And then I'd. <laughs> I'm not sure what that would do. It might get Ming in, but I'm, I'm doubtful of that. And I would prefer to, you know, just do it individually. Could invest in the National Bank, or I can go for the tech. I'm gonna wait up and see what happens for now. So, what else is there? It did not drop them off, okay. You go into there then. Or up there. I really don't know what to do with this navy at times. I'll just have to drop them off up there then. Move you down to there, because you're the one that I don't really want to get confused with. So, Okotsk is coming along nicely. Kalang is actually almost done. And once it's December, I'll pull the colonists out of that and send them to the next province of this place, Midag. So despite the massive colonial differences in terms of overall ability, yeah, I'll send it. So this up here, send them back out to grab the rest of that army. So, well, this loan is coming up actually next year, but I might actually have enough money to sate it. Ooh, well, wouldn't mind that. I'll repay that right away. Now I have enough money. Why the... What the... What have I done? Oh, I see. 
timing was just slightly off. I shouldn't have an issue though with the province overall. So this fleet can now go and drop them off over there. And we'll get ready for uh, the rest of our expansion into this area. I will expand my transport fleet eventually. So these are now both expanding themselves and I'm happy with that. It means I can dedicate a lot more attention to the Asian area now. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hexi is going to fall. And I'm going to be taking a lot more land from other areas around here. In particular, this. And, well, a lot of... It's just going to be a massive expansion for me. Especially later on, where Korea will fall. Once Korea's fallen, I'll be a very, very strong power. Easily. And I mean it now. Proper easily. Stronger than... I'd probably be easily stronger than all of Ming's other tributaries. The only thing that would give me an issue would be Japan. Or Ming themselves. And now we'll... With this down here, it's gone to tropical. But I do have a colony by it now, so it does lose that penalty. So here comes the next bit of tribute that they want, which is the Diplo. And I am converting the religion immediately, just get it done. So with them a tech behind, I should be well more than healthy enough to handle them. So I still have five years to just deal with them. So I could easily get this colony done, start one here, send the 2,000 there and use the 9,000 to clean up. And in all honesty, I should soon have a force limit equal to what I actually have put out on the field. Especially with richer areas such as Taiwan and that being taken. And eventually, once all of the Philippines are taken, I can probably get good start on the rest of this region down here and become a very powerful colonial empire and also a very powerful Asian empire. I already have a fairly large ability to exercise myself on the weaker powers using my naval superiority. 14 ducats again? Ah, oh, Christ. They could attempt to starve me out that way. Wouldn't like it, but they could do it. And for the matter, I would have Manchu culture to deal with again. But I could easily, you know, just keep doing it and eventually they'll run out. Lose money for more settlers and slightly higher settler chance for two years. In all honesty, I really can't care. They literally just attack right after I do that. That's just defense. That is just... wow. Making money again. I have a bit of time to get up to 40 ducats. Or 14, rather. News is I am not rivaling Japan under any circumstance. Just, no, not doing it right now. Yeah, I'll have the required amount next month. Living very heavily on the edge. But I should be able to make it. Oh, no. Bugger off. Just get out. Though if they demand it again, 
I would run into issues, and it could also happen during the war, which would be further issues. So this province gives a direct land connection with no straight crossing. For the matter, wouldn't want them to go there anyway, would we now? Maybe we'll see if they have any slight form of army at all. They have 8,000 apparently. But I can't see it. Do they have a fort anywhere? They have a capital fort and that's it. No actual fort. Okay, well, with this down here, I'm just going to keep focusing on expanding it. Once these are done, or this island is done, that'll be another little region of mine. Then I'll focus on getting this one, and then keep on advancing through each region individually. Which is arguably the best way to do it. So they've almost actually been converted already, which is very encouraging. As it means, without them, I'll have the a good ability to actually exercise the capability to culture convert them. 666 admin points for a brief moment there. Lovely. This is almost at 900. I'm not sure if I want to wait or not. They still demanding money off me because I'll be in trouble if they aren't. I think there was a message earlier, but I'm not sure. It might have just been. Well, it doesn't help when I'm not paying attention, does it? I. Uh, I really can't. <sighs> Christ, fine. I'll suffer just for that. To avoid shit later on. Yeah, I'm getting ready for this war. Kalang is now ours. Very firmly. In all senses. Well, it's culture converting now. But that'll give it more money. And give it mo That is a lot of monetary worth that we were spending on that other fella. Now it will be a slow process, but I will be able to do it all. Ignore, stop the agent. Well, let's get ready for it, shall we? It shouldn't be a long war. If anything, it should be lightning fast. They do want money, for fuck's sake. Fuck off, Ming. I hate Ming, in all honesty, because of that. Improve the drainage right now is actually worth a lot. That production efficiency is giving me more money and it also makes the colonists more likely to go to a colony. Well, this is looking to be very good for me. Hey, Xe. Do you remember me? The one that you uh, didn't like a long time ago. We're coming for you. So the queer for their capital. Mm. 
And there seems to be a fair few advantages, actually, to having Ming protect me. So I'll be heading right there. I doubt they'll... Well, I have my doubts. So I'm going to head here first and see what I can find. I'd like to find their military before anything, but it could get complex. So, it's called my colonies in, of course, but they are unlikely to be affected. He's got a very good leader, though. Hakes, he could form a coalition. Not when they don't exist. So if I go to the capital and start sieging that down, I'll get to see what's actually here as well. 8,000 rebels, and they have 8,000 troops. I can see why they wouldn't want to attack that. Let's swap these about, I only need those there. And I'd like to blockade the capital as well. So, don't really need to worry about this. It's blockading one of the provinces. And I just want to get the siege up as quickly as possible. So I'll swing around, crush all of that, and then I'll crush the rebels who are not moving. This will be an easy war, it seems. Hakesy does not have much money, though. I guess they are a fairly weak country at this point. So, yeah, we're finally fighting our own little war once again. Could get this for garrison size, though I don't exactly have that many forts, if any at all. So, we'll, we're starting to pick up our strength once again. We'll be advancing faster than we were before. Yeah, take the bloody money, you stupid fucking Chinese bastards. And no, that is not intended in a racist sense. They are literally a Chinese nation, I may as well say it. Not doing so would be wrong. So I'm gonna... That's mountains. That does decrease my eagerness to uh, attack. But they are moving. Hmm. Let's, let's go and see if we can engage them. They've moved to mountains. They don't want the scene to engage at all. So they're staying away from my army. Oh, that is a brilliant trait, and he's got it from his father. I'm happy with that. Got to be real careful, though, because if they... They're pretty much always going to be in mountains, and I don't feel like attacking even with my tech advantage over it. Still wouldn't accept it, of course, but, you know. I'll change that. Bit by bit. They keep avoiding my army by the looks of it. Now, I can... I'll probably attack it when I can. If he goes up there and attacks the colony. He's going for the colony. Okay. Get up there. Get up there. Trust me, if they damage that colony, they're going to suffer a fair bit. Yep, here he comes. On the 3rd of August. This is going to be there way later. But they're trapped. They will have to face this army and they will die. They've cr they crushed it. Okay. If that's how you're playing, trust me. They're going into the uncolonized. They're going into the uncolonized region. You really want to die, do you? I will trace them. I'm killing this military of theirs. It's not existing when I'm done with it. <sighs> Come on, then. How far can you run? Oh, you want to go there? Nah. He's going to keep running into the fucking unknown, isn't he? I am going to catch him eventually, and I will bloody kill him. 
That leader has killed 2,000 of my good men, I shall have him dead. Yep, he's, he's caught. I get a crossing penalty, but I really could care less. You may have a superb leader, but the numbers are slightly in my favour. And he's already suffered a tad of damage. It's not going to wor work for him. Crush him. Crush their pathetic military. Where are they retreating to? They're going to Maya. Okay. There's a decent chance they'll retreat back into their lands, which would be frustrating, but it's certainly possible. Wait, no, there isn't going to be a fight there. They're definitely going back to their lands. They're still not accepting a full peace. Or full annexation, rather. Which is annoying, but it'll have to wait, it seems. So, they've suffered a severe military defeat, but they are not going to be able to retreat much further now, are they? Really? You're going to demand the ducats? I do have to catch them, but they're going to keep running, aren't they? Oh, you want to sit there, do you? Ooh, trust me, you're not allowed to do that. Can we remove the money off the offer? Still no intentions at all. Fine, I'll just go and siege these. I'm going to siege all of it down. I'm not letting you. He can have the colony. Once all of his provinces are sieged, he can't do a thing. Really, it would result in the annexation or vassalization. Who could care? <sighs> Good lord. Just take it, please. You have been annoying as hell and I would prefer you all die. Horribly. But, you know... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to convert those for a long time. I'd just much rather get them called, I suppose. And trust me, I know this place is going to probably be very feisty. Oh, Buryashia. So, I'm going to... Yeah, this is going to be a very rebellious area. It's going to be very difficult to keep down. Did I say very difficult? I mean near impossible. Good lord. I'm not going to get any benefits out of it, but I really could care less. They already arrive on the 17th of December. It takes a long time. Oh yeah, the, those are up there now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Why is it split up into several armies? Immediately. Well, either way, that's going to give separatism up there and give me a significant issue. And this is why they didn't want to engage them, because they're in mountains. Shut up, Ming, and fuck off. Just die. Never come back. 
Now, they have no effect, actually, because I think of the culture. I just realised that. Yep, yeah, HC Separatists. No effect at all. Good lord. Now I have to clean up all of it. Is it... it's already rebelling. That's how fast it goes because of the bloody... Look at the level of unrest. How are you meant to deal with that? You don't. I'm going to have to keep pushing it down for a bit. But that is outrageous levels of unrest. What the... Um... I think it's broken. Are they all coming here? Yeah, they are. And they're just going to cease to exist, they are. I really don't mind that. These areas are so bloody difficult to get a hold of, and I'm going to keep a hold of them. Gain admin, or... Yeah, I'm going to gain the admin. I really need it. Even Korea doesn't want to attack it. Like, good lord. That's how hard it is to deal with these in the mountains. Already, again, please don't. I'm not sure how many would rise up, but I'd really prefer to not find out this soon. Go to the next province with that, send him back down here, or to here. Next episode's gonna be mainly rebel stomping, I think. Good lord, the cost of maintenance. So, now that we've got all of that together, and now this here is actually going quite well for us. That's converted to our culture, it's ours. Settle the issue, you idiots. Well, let's see. This is going to be another culture, com uh, another religious conversion. Send the tribute, I guess. Recall that fella, send him here instead, which is the richest of them. And also the hardest to convert. So our military is quite fragmented in a sense, but it will survive. So what? Only 7,000? That's... Oh, it's Yeren's... Oh god. That's... That's concerning. I'd prefer if they would not rise up. Because that would kill me. Horrendously. 19,000 that I would have no chance of dealing with. Unless they rose up in secret stacks, but even then... It's not the greatest look for us, I think. 30 months. In all honesty, I'm willing to take that risk. That has... Yeah, it'll be fine. For that, anyway. Now, culture, shift this one as well, and we'll be good. So, it looks like Taiwan is ours, without a doubt, but yeah. Rebel stomping next episode, I think. And how are colonial nations doing... He's connected himself up, that's brilliant. And he's, yeah, looks good.
good progress on both sides. I'm happy for them. He must have done that recently, considering that. And he got his done faster. We have to renew the loan, of course. But to catch you in eastern Siberia, we own a very large coastline in theory, but it's very few provinces in reality. So, it's not even that powerful. Yeah, well, it's... the Hakesy ones aren't even that bad. Biriger. Biriger? Biriger, here. I'm just gonna sit on that province and let them. Let them try. So this is the Hakesy ones that want to rise up here. I'll I'll just wait for them then they can come and try it. The Yaren ones the ones I'm worried about. Because 19,000 I have very little chance of dealing with. Like once these are all called it will help but that's still not going to lessen the fact that it's going to be one hell of an issue. In fact, I'm going to build you up another troop. Oh, good god. Darren in particular is going to be an issue because it couldn't have been raised. And I have to convert all of this as well, which is what is especially difficult for me. Turn Sackham into a city. That will give it a base production and some local development cost. For 10 years. I'll take it because it is going to be done. <sighs> okay. He's going down to the mayor to group up with it. Okay. And I now see Korea's army's only 16,000. Or at least what I can see. Gain some manpower in here, that's that's nice. Little fight down here, what a shame. S the southernmost area of Taiwan, but it's being dealt with. Well, with Japan being the mighty nation it is here, I might actually have to wait a fairly long time before I can start attacking Japan. Like, I'd have to let them... I'd have to probably conquer all of Korea, like you, as a starting point. And then... Once that's done, I'll see what I can field. And then I'd have to invade from the north, which would make it very much a slogging war. But, as I advance further, it would get easier and easier. So, that is advantageous. Plus, if I do take this, I can let them come to me, more for the straight, blockade it, let them crash against me, and if they lose, I can beat them down. I'm going to knock those down a bit. Send the tribute. And well, I've handled that well enough, I think. And in terms of areas now, it will be these up here that I'm going to get done next. But I could also do this. All 
depends. All depends. The hikesy ones I can challenge. Yaren ones, oh no. Once these provinces have gone down enough. I feel it will be fairly good for us. He's almost finished this here. And well, what else is there? There's Ryukyu, who I want to conquer and probably will do. More base tax in my capital? Yes, please. Always more base tax. That doesn't, however, contribute to the printing press. Damn. That's a very well-developed province, though, if you ask me. That's good enough. So now I just have to rush towards getting uh, dip tech. 15. Yaren? No. Bad Yaren. Knock him down once again. Now, these two provinces, the capital and Darren, are the most developed in this area. I'm not sure if I want to start converting just yet, because that would probably just speed it up even more. Unless it was to do just this. And encourage them to, you know, rebel. Where I can handle them. And I sort of will do that. The autonomy is going to go down all the time for these, I'm fine with that. Now this is going to become the main focus, I think, for a time. This is almost completely done. And these don't take that long to get there, but they take long enough. So I'm going to start sending troops up to here. Uh, not troops, colonists up to there. Though they did just immediately rise up, and I'm not sure if... Yeah, I'm not going to get there in time. That's upsetting, and I am actually going to probably enrage kill them. Yeah, I'm killing all of them. Just for that, you suffer a lot. They even attack. They even attacked. Right then. Hey! Remember that colony you burnt? Yeah. Your entire family and tribe is gone. Yeah, see these natives here? That's why you don't that's why you are not like that. Because it kills you hard and harshly. Yeah, Ren. No. I can't let them rebel. They would kill me. So I just have to keep them down. So I can handle it. The other option would be. Merc up. Let it happen. Okay I'm going to sit in the capital. And hopefully try and reduce some of it there. But I'm not sure if that will work. Well either way I should end the episode. So we will. Either way, thank you for watching. We'll end it on the start of next year. So, 1565. Oh, Japan. China where? Actually, yeah, that's in Taiwan. That makes sense. Yes, please. But, yeah, well, next year it should be the start of the colony here this time. And all three... We should just start colonizing everywhere up here.
either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time where we will see just what we can do about the entire situation that we have, I suppose. So either way, thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. Bye for now.